Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. I remember when I was in high school, my high school sweetheart, um, she didn't live in my hometown. She lived in my family's hometown on my mom's side um, in a little country town. Beautiful. She looked like Raven Simone when she was a teenager. I met her when I was like, I think 16, something like that. And, um, you know, we ain't have a whole lot in common. That girl was just fine. <laughs> That's really all it was. And I liked the way she made me look in public. I liked the way she uh, looked, period. I mean, she was very easy on the eyes. And I was getting into, into some activities with her that I shouldn't have been as a young man. But it is what it is. So uh, I held on to this chick much longer. I shouldn't have held on to it. I shouldn't have, I had no business being with her, but and um I've learned to overcome that in life and realize okay, I'm looking for a good woman, not necessarily just a good looking woman. Um some people never get over that. Some people are loyal to folks because they've been with them since they were a child or for a long time or because that person went through a hard time with them. Um, things change and sometimes they change for the better and sometimes they change for the worst. But um, in this particular case today or these particular cases, I'm going to use some celebrity examples because they're easy to look at as uh, a, a bit of a case study, so to speak. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so <laughs> cut, <laughs> um, that was just a, um, replica airsoft anyway. So look, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Hey, I'm a grown man. Sometimes it is what it is. Ain't not even sometimes. You, you should always uh, protect yourself. But anyway, with that being said, so first let's talk about let's talk about Javante Tank Davis, the boxer. Now, if you're a boxing fan, and, and this is going to be a bit of a side note before we even talk about abuse, this dude was tied in with Floyd Mayweather. Now, some of you may say, well, what what does that mean? Floyd Mayweather beat a woman too. Yeah, but Floyd Mayweather has mastered the art and science of the business of boxing. Young men out there, when you have a mentor who can show you how to get all the way to the top in your field, shut up and listen. I got a video entitled Shut Up and Listen. You should Google search it if you have a problem with that. Look, you don't, you can't get, some information can't be taught in a book or in a classroom. So when you got a mentor who can tell you how to master everything about your art and your craft, you sit there and listen until that joker don't want to talk no more. Now, with that being said, I think that Tank Davis is going to have a lot. If he doesn't get somebody because he's still kind of, if I'm not mistaken, he's still in his 20s. And, um, you know, the guy makes some bad decisions and I want to see the best for him. But, man, sometimes you just need to learn when you need a mentor in life. And when you got one, yeah, they're not going to tell you everything you want. You don't need yes men around you. You need people who are going to tell you what you need to hear. And whoever this woman is in his life, apparently she ain't no good for him. This isn't the first time he's had some domestic situations with this lady. Um, and this time, like there, there's been some instances, if I'm not mistaken, he drug her out of a concert or something like that. And people caught him on video and he went to jail for that. And I don't know if this is the same woman either, but this lady here, Apparently got gangster with him and <laughs> she put feces in his toothbrush and spit on him and all this kind of stuff here. But called the police and said that he was hitting on her, which he may be. I don't know. But I know this much. Once you get to hitting and spitting and 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 dumping. Hey, it's time to go. <laughs> when you got to drag a joker out of the concert, you can't walk out peacefully. It's time to head out, man. It's time to head out. Uh, same thing or, or similar if you ask me with this Tory Lanez and Meg the Stallion thing. Y'all know a stallion is a male horse, right? Okay. Anyway, um, 
so they had some type of argument. These two young late young ladies, ladies, Meg the Stallion and uh, Kelsey. You know, I'm old here. I don't really know who all these folks are. Um, apparently, they were supposed to go somewhere in their vehicle. Then they end up in Tory Lane's vehicle. Then one person gets to shooting, and another person gets to shooting, and somebody's shooting in the air. Meg the Stallion gets shot in the foot. I guarantee you there were some red flags before then. That ain't the first time somebody cheated or had a side piece or they had this. You don't just start shooting folks out. Well, I hope you don't just start shooting folks out of the blue. The point I'm trying to make is this. See that female I was telling you about my high school sweetheart? The signs were already there that I should have left that young lady alone. Um, now, I'll tell you how good I've gotten at it. Last year, I was uh, dating a female and, you know, she had the whole beautiful thing going, 41 years old, no kids. But I found out why she had never been married and had no kids because, you know, first she started being a little bit disrespectful. Then she started calling herself, trying to raise her boys. And I'm like, hey, hey, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to settle down with all that. Then it's like I got an event planned and she's trying to, you know, make it sound like she halfway don't want to go. And I'm not, like, at this stage, I ain't begging nobody to go nowhere. So then I say, well, cool. Don't worry about it. Once you go do that, that you're talking about doing, and I'll fly solo. She gets to sending me these long text messages, threatening this, doing this. And I'm like, okay, fine. You, no problem. Whatever you say. So then she's like, oh, you're not going to respond? No. So then I get longer text messages. I'm like, okay, I can't deal with this. She says, uh, I think me and you need to be apart. And I said, cool. So now she gets to, uh, so I said, okay, cool. I figured that was it. I blocked this number. Then she called from another number. Blocked that number. She calls from another number. Blocked that number. She calls from another number. And then some weeks later, she calls again. And I'm like, sweetheart, why am I going to, because she lived uh, about an hour and a half away. So I'm like, you know, I, I don't, you, you hear that noise? When she called, it was a quiet day. I'm like, you hear that? That is peace. And that is quiet. Why would I go out of my way, an hour and a half out of my way, to be treated bad and to, to, to listen to you talk to whatever, you know? It's uh, no thank you. You know, there, there's some guy out there who wants a beautiful woman, quote unquote beautiful, as far as just looks are concerned, so bad that he'll put up with that crap from you. But I'm not that guy. All right. So. You know, um, and, and, and I'm pretty sure she's found someone, you know, and maybe our communication styles don't match. I don't think she's a bad person, but she ain't finna be up in here with all that. Look, don't ignore those red flags. I even had one woman tell me, hey, look, you don't even need to date me. I'm just going to slow you down. I should have took my stuff and, and exited and never came back. The red flags are there. And when you see them, go. That make you a bad person, especially if you're a man. There are more women in the world than men. Go. But, you know, hey, there's abusive men. Go. Whatever the case is, when you know, you go. And that's actually from H.G. Tudor. Uh, uh, knowing the narcissist, you should check his website out, too, because a lot of what you're seeing with these things are narcissistic traits. But anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.